It's my great honor to open the ministerial program portion of this graduation and to tell you that the Holmes Institute graduates who are sitting before you here have completed not only a very rigorous academic program, but a great deepening of their, of their spiritual life. United Church, United Centers for Spiritual Living has trained ministers since, the, since 1972 through the Ernest Holmes College. And in the, in the middle 90s, decided to change to the Holmes Institute Graduate Studies Program. And since we graduated our first class in 2000, we've graduated over 120 ministers in this program. In 2004, I'm very proud to say that we attained a nationally recognized accreditation for the program. And we are probably one of the smallest seminary type programs that is accredited by this nationally recognized accrediting agency. The actual purpose of the program is to help our students to study the way Ernest Holmes studied, to go back and to look at the roots of philosophy, the tenets of religion, all of the deep insights that have been gained in science today, as well as other, other, other disciplines to enable them to come to a deeper understanding of this science of mind teaching the way Ernest Holmes did. And so we're very proud that our students have gone through certainly the rigorous academic training, but also the deepening of the spiritual life that this program affords. Because it's the deepening of the ministerial consciousness that is really the purpose of this program. And our ministers, as you will see from your program, are looking to serve ministry in various, various ways. Some innovative, probably some they haven't even considered yet. Probably some that scare them. So we're looking forward to, with great anticipation, with joyful anticipation, to the way that these new ministerial candidates, these students, are coming forward and carrying this message in new, innovative ways out into the world. And so it's my great privilege to open this part of the program, the 2009 Ministerial Graduation Program, and to ask my esteemed colleague, Reverend Dr. Linda McNamara, to say a few words about the path of ministry. Well, Dr. Roger talked about the path as it uh, happens once they have a commitment to enter into the School of Ministry, but the path actually began a lot longer, further away than that. They've been on this path since before they even knew they were on a path. <laughs> when they walked into a Science of Mind church and heard their first talk and felt that stir of hunger within them, they began their path. I often tell the students at the, uh, on the campus of Holmes Institute that the reason we pursue ministry is we're just hungrier than other people. <laughs> and so they, they set upon their, their studies and with each class that they took, that hunger grew. It becomes sort of like, uh, you may not understand this at all, but having an, a really nice rich meal and then just a few hours later, you're hungry again. <laughs> well, they've been hungering that way for spirit and for the spiritual life until one day it sort of took them over that they could have a career. They could have their career be bringing this message that has changed their lives so deeply to other people. Coming through the uh, Holmes Institute, they do take many academic classes, and Dr. Roger touched on some of that, but they take classes in quantum physics and psychology and world religions. They can now step out of this school and walk among the most educated of the ministers, rabbis, priests in the world and hold their own with them.
you can see them sitting here with their smiles. <laughs> what you can't see are the bumps and bruises along the way. <laughs> the times they almost turned their back, but the calling within them was so strong that they needed to go forward. And they have deepened their, their spiritual life, not only through studies, not only through retreats or advances or whatever they were calling them at the moment, but through the hard times as they struggled with hours and hours of homework. <laughs> of families who say to them, can't you be home one weekend? Can't we have one weekend with you? And still they followed this path that is leading them forward into the great unknown because that's the world we're living in today, that great unknown. And so they are bringing this vast knowledge and this deepened spirituality into a focus into the world that is so needing it at this moment. Their first step on the pathway, so those of you who are wearing blue hats, beware. <laughs> I'll be seeing you in white one of these days. Those of you who feel that, you know, you've just completed that really big meal and you're starting to feel the hunger pangs again. Yeah, I know some of you, I've seen it in you. This is their path, that's the path to ministry. It's a path of service, it's a path of academia, it's a path of love. And most of all, for these graduates here, it's a step where they carry us, all of science of mind, up the mountain with them as they, because of their training at Holmes Institute, because of the academic work that they have done, that you have done, I've said it to you personally, you know it. You are creating a way for all of us to stand in the world with deep consciousness and great pride. And that is the path you're carrying us on. Thank you for that. <laughs>